Hi, my name is Cody and you're watching Lunch Ride. So in the last video, I was kind of telling you, or I was kind of telling, I did tell you. I made it my best effort to tell you about uh, some maps that I made for the local trail system out of Claremore, Oklahoma. I also had a really cool opportunity out there and I want to share that with you too. I got to build rollers. Oh man, it was awesome. Okay, so let me give you a brief overview of what happened, uh, just so you're up to speed. And I've been really excited about this, and it was definitely a highlight of 2021. So in the last episode, I introduced you to Rory. Rory is the trail boss out at the Claremore Lake Mountain Bike Trails. Yeah, I kind of jumped in. Uh, some guys did the first work day out on the original two miles of trails and did a cleanup day. And I said, this is great, but nobody's coming here for two miles. Can we expand? And we met with the city and um, they said, yeah, go for it. We took it from two miles to probably close to 17 now. So yeah, it's a good time. Uh, I had been thinking about building a roller for the channel for a while. But the problem with that is once I build it, then I have it and I don't know where to put it. So my thought was that I would build the roller here and then transport it and place it on the trail out there. So I'd shown Rory uh, some plans that I was working on in SketchUp about what the roller would be. So Rory got a call from Matt Hunt, who's a Boy Scout looking to earn his Eagle Scout designation, badge, stripes, I don't know, belt, uh, sash, this kid, Matt, is trying to become an Eagle Scout and he needs to do a project. And that project that he wants to do is build a trail feature. I'm with Troop 80 and we're out here at Claremore Mountain Bike Trail. So this is for my Eagle Scout project um, with Troop 80. To rank up in Boy Scouts, you need to do like a big community service project. And like this is considered my project. Yeah, so I'm just out here with three or four friends and then my dad and then my Scout Master. And we're out here uh, building this thing. Uh, I've helped with like multiple Eagle projects. For example, my brother came out here to Claremore and built a bridge across the stream. And there's a big crew of guys out here helping with it, so. So I created a takeoff and gave it to Rory. And with generous donations, he was able to get the material that we needed. It's gonna be built out of pressure treated lumber with rough sawn cedar decking. The sides will be two by 12s on four by four posts with hex bolts keeping the majority of it together. So in order to get the curves of the rollers, I had to create some plywood templates. So what I had done to make the pattern is I cut out a piece of plywood that was the run that I needed and the rise that I needed. So it was eight foot by two foot. So this piece here, even though it's very plain, actually represents two very important parts. This eight foot dimension represents the run, how long it's gonna be from the lowest point to the highest point. And this dimension here represents the 24 inches from the lowest point to the highest point. So we're going to lay out the curves that we want on this piece. Then I made a compass. I didn't want to use a string because there's too much flex and play in the string. You know, I wanted it to be as exact as possible. I screwed together some strips of plywood and made them over 8 feet long. I think they're about like 10 feet long, just so anything longer than the radius. And I made a swing arm on top of that. And I measured out seven feet, 11 and three quarters on that swing arm and made a hole, a hole for my pencil to fit in. Okay, so now I can draw a perfect arc every time. But here's the trick. I need two arcs going opposite ways that meet perfectly in the middle so that it's a nice smooth transition. Then what you have to do is rotate the plywood so that when the arm swings out, it meets the far corner of the sheet of plywood. Now, if you put your pencil, that line will go from the corner of the plywood to the center of the screw. Then undo that second screw that's holding the plywood down, swing the plywood sheet around, and do the same thing, and you'll have two arcs that meet in a perfect tangent in the middle and on the edge. This is as smooth as it can be. This will be the pattern for the transitions. Now when I take this pencil and trace this arc, it should meet that screw right in the middle. In the middle. It should meet the screw in the middle, in the middle. And then we're gonna flip the board around and do the same thing. And then we should have a nice, uh, two arcs with a nice tangent. Hopefully you can hear me. Now, here's the thing, here's what I've done. I've done this on the computer a couple times to make sure it would work, and all of a sudden when I did this, it didn't work and I couldn't figure out why. See, what's happening 
if you can see it, is that the pattern that I traced, like you come in the ramp and it starts with a hump, gets flat, and then goes up to a peak. That's not what I want at all. I want it to start flat, ramp up, be flat in the middle, and then flatten out at the top, like a roller. Because what I had done had the arc exit at the corner closest to the top. What I want to do is line it up so it exits at the bottom, and then it will be the reverse. Now I got a pencil line on this side. I'm going to flip the board over. see it starts here humps up and flattens out on top oh man I'm excited for this is starting to take shape I'm glad this actually worked so I cut out the pattern with the jigsaw and I took my time to make sure that it would be nice and smooth I didn't have to do any sanding right I actually have two sides. And you can make two of these and then make yourself a roller. But I'm going to use one of them as a pattern. And I cut those patterns out and then took them to Roy's and we cut out the stringers. They pre cut all the decking and I fabricated the gusset plates here so we could just bolt it all together on the day. The idea was to do as much as possible in preparation. That way, when we got to the trail, the only work that we had to do was the stuff that could only be done on the trail. And this really did save a good amount of time. So on the day of the build, the Boy Scouts arrived with the material and staged it all. So what we did is we set the first post and we used that to set the height of all the other posts. We attached the middle rails to find out what the height of the low post needed to be. Then we set the end pieces working to get the entirety of one side set. Then once that was in place it was an easy task of transferring the height of that side to the other using a four foot level. It was a great day of work and these Boy Scouts, now Eagle Scouts, did a fantastic job. It was so great seeing the whole community out there. We were only one part of a big trail day worth of work. I thought it originally was going to be like pretty hard and like like a lot of moving like wood and stuff. There was a lot yeah. of people so the workload wasn't that much and Work it felt, by fast. felt like it was going by fast. Watch out. Very long standing next to you. Am I supposed to be young? Yeah. At the end of the day, how do you feel about it? Uh, I feel like I want to ride it. I feel good, yeah. I want to ride it. 
<laughs> and it was cool to see everybody riding through. It was a great day at work and these Boy Scouts, now Eagle Scouts, did a fantastic job. It was so great seeing the whole community out there. We were only one part of a big trail day worth of work. There are a lot of people out there that were helping and they deserve the recognition. So I'm sorry that it took me this long to get to this video in the first place. Anyway, my name's Cody and you're watching Lunch Ride. If you liked the video, if you thought it was helpful, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Until next time.